Welcome to Sierra Timeline News. My name is Oscar Tieno. Update. Night guard kills wife for infidelity and planning to ditch him after paying her Muranga University fees. Evans Kosgei and Jacqueline began dating in high school. Their love was so strong that no one could come between them, not even their parents. However, their relationship faced a significant challenge when Jacqueline became pregnant, which angered her father, leading to her disownment. Despite the adversity, Jacqueline confided in Evans, who being the responsible young man, he was decided to step up and support her. They made the decision to move in together despite still being teenagers and committed to raising their child. Evans took a job as a night guard to fend for his wife and unborn child. After the birth of the baby girl, Evans made a sacrifice for Jacqueline's education by selling his sheep, parcel of land and some trees to pay for her school fees. He enrolled her in Muranga University where she persuaded or she pursued a Bachelor of Education degree and eventually graduated. However, as their relationship progressed, they began to encounter challenges. Two other men, Stanley, Degwa, and Shadrach Kiprop, entered the picture, and Jacqueline started cheating on Evans with both of them. Eventually, Shadrach became the primary side guy, with Jacqueline having pursued high education and Evans remaining a high school graduate, their dynamic shifted and Evans felt inadequate. Despite forgiving Jacqueline's infidelity multiple times and pleading for her to stop, she continued seeing Shadrach, with whom she started planning a life. Jacqueline, deeply in love with Shadrach, even considered leaving Evans and their daughter to be with him. Shockingly, Jacqueline's father, who had disowned her, approved of her relationship with Shadrach and advised Evans to leave them alone, as Shadrach was pro uh, providing for them financially. This betrayal devastated Evans emotionally and mentally as he had sacrificed so much for Jacqueline's education and well-being only to be betrayed. And that's it for now. I'm Oscar Tieno.